Hey everyone, Matt Covert here again from HowToBecomeARaceCarDriver.com and in this video we're going to talk about something that is a little misunderstood and we're going to get right into the nitty gritty. We're talking about understeer and we're going to start off by talking about kind of uh, how people normally view understeer. Normally people define understeer as when the front tires lose grip before the rear before rear okay and that's sort of true but it's not the whole story so let's just look at this quick example okay so people normally view understeer with a car going this way and perhaps going in too fast or it turned in too soon it just has too much speed to make the corner not enough grip on the front end all right and so what happens is the car tends to just go straight even though the wheels are pointed this way and you can already see, if you've seen the slip angle video, you can see a pretty bad, well, slip angle. And that's why the car is understeering. But I want to get a little more technical than that. So let's look at something uh, that will really open your eyes about understeer. We're going to get right into the dirty, nitty-gritty stuff. Okay. Now don't let this diagram scare you. I know there's a lot going on here, but I'm going to take you through the whole thing. I found a similar... Uh, a similar diagram to this in uh, Skip Barber's Going Faster book. It's about mastering the art of race driving. And if you haven't read that book, it's amazing. There's so much technical stuff in there, and I highly encourage you to read that. But this is something we're going to talk about really quickly, and I'm going to explain all these crazy little lines, so don't get too scared, okay? Let's break it down into little sections, okay? This curving line right here goes through the middle of the car. That is the path of the vehicle as it goes around a corner. So that one's not a big deal, all right? And let's look at the front slip angle. You've seen this before if you saw the other videos, not a big deal, okay? This is the direction the vehicle's going, and this is the direction the, the front tires are pointed, and the difference is the slip angle. You've seen that before. That's not new. Okay, let's take a quick look at the yaw angle. This center line is the uh, center line of the vehicle, and that's the, what am I trying to say? That's the direction the vehicle is pointing, all right? And this is the direction it's actually going. And we know, because we've seen the yaw angle video, that the difference between these two lines is the yaw angle. That's not too difficult either, okay? So there's one more component to this crazy-looking diagram, and that is the rear slip angle. And we haven't specifically talked about rear slip angle yet. One thing that people don't understand is that rear slip angles are extremely important to how a vehicle handles. People always think about front slip angles because you're always turning the front wheels, etc., and creating different angles. But for a vehicle to handle optimally, the rear tires have to slip across the surface just like the front ones do. And this plays a big component in understanding how understeer is really happening. Okay, so just like the front end, the rear slip angle is the difference between where the wheel is pointed and the direction is actually sliding across the surface. And the difference, again, is just the slip angle. Okay, so when we're talking about understeer, uh, we're talking about three separate components, okay? Understeer, let, let me draw out some angles here, just theoretical angles. Let's say we have a 14 degree, uh, 14 degree front slip angle. We have a 6 degree rear slip angle and the yaw, yaw, yaw angle is just four degrees. This is the, the real definition of understeer, okay? When the front slip angles are larger than the rear, then you technically have understeer, all right? And I know that might seem a little basic, but once we get into neutral, a neutral handling car, which is another video entirely, you'll understand why this has to make sense the way it does, okay? And when you're understeering, the yaw angle is very, very small. It's almost nothing because when your front end is sliding, well, the rear doesn't really have a tendency to pop out, okay? So this is the real definition of understeer, all right? So I'm going to stop there, I think, and then I'm going to move on to an oversteer video because that's uh, a little different than this, okay? If you haven't, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's all kinds of these great technical videos coming out, and I really appreciate having you in the channel. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so very much. I don't say thank you enough. I should really start doing that. So I'll put a subscribe uh, button on the, uh, on the screen, maybe right here, something like that, all right? And I'll be back with another video really shortly.